I am Anil Kumar and in this video I will try to work out a method so that from the given conditions we can easily find the rational function. The question here is state equation of a rational function that meets the following conditions. We are given three conditions here. First one is x intercept at 1, y intercept at 6 and horizontal asymptote along y equals to 2 over 3. Since we have a horizontal asymptote whose value is not 0 but some number 2 over 3 in this case, we can write a rational function whose numerator and denominator have same degrees. Simplest of those will be the function written as ax plus b over cx plus d. Now we can further simplify this expression to get our conditions. x intercept at 1. Now what does it mean? It means that the numerator should be 0 for x equals to 1. So that means in the numerator we have a factor which should be x minus 1. So x minus 1 is a factor in numerator. That is what it means. X intercept of 1. The numerator will be 1. Now y intercept of 6. That means f of 0 equals to 6. So if I substitute 0 here, that means b over d equals to 0. Okay. Uh, sorry, b over d equals to 6, right? Because x is 0. So if x is 0, then b over d should be equal to 6. That is the meaning of y intercept at 6. So b over d is 6. That means if I make d as 1, b should, should be 6. This should be 6. So I can get that 6 if I multiply this factor by 6. So, so I could have uh, the numerator factor as 6 times x minus 1 and I can have d equals to 1. This is what I could have, right? Perfect, yeah. Now the last condition here is horizontal asymptote along y equals to 2 over 3. y equals to 2 over 3, that really means that a over c is 2 over 3. So that means let me write in a different thing and then we will see how to write it. So that means a over c equals to 2 over 3. Now, we, if we incorporate the first two, we have 6 times x minus 1. That means a is in fact 6. If a is 6, what is c? That is what we need to figure out. So if I write a as 6, 6 over c equals to 2 over 3, then we cross multiply, then we get 18 equals to 2c or c equals to 18 over 2, which is 9. Correct? So that could work, right? So that base, what we have here is kind of our answer. So we have, since we have x intercepted 1, we will write a factor x minus 1 y intercept at 6. So what we are doing here is we are writing d as 1. Now if I write d as 1 and I need a value of 6 when x is 0, right? So I should have here minus 6, minus 6, right? Minus 6 I should have. Then when I multiply with this or I could make minus 1 in the denominator, I could do that also. And since I have horizontal asymptote at y equals to 2 over 3, that means c should be 2 over 3. I mean the ratio 6 over 9 could work here. Since we need negative, we can write minus here too, right? So that could be one way of writing. Better way could be, let's write 6 here with x minus 1. And let's write 9x minus 1. That will also work for us, right? So, so that way, 
I think it works better. Since if I put x equals to 0, then I have in the numerator minus 6, in the denominator I have minus 1, so that will give me y intercept of plus 6. Ratio of 6 over 9 is 2 over 3, right? So 2 over 3 is same as 6 over 9. So that also works. And x intercept of 1 also works, right? So do you see that? So that is how we can kind of develop our equation, right? So I hope this works and you understand how to get this. So there are many ways of getting it, but I think taking ds1 helps to get the equation faster. Thank you and all the